With how long this season has felt, it's easy to forget how dynamic freshman Matty Beneers ended up with the Wolverines. Originally, he was full goal with Harvard. I never figured out I wanted to go to Harvard. Um, it was close to home. That was always something that was important to me. But then COVID happened and they canceled their season um, pretty much. And I kind of had to make a decision whether I wanted to go to the USHL or look at other schools. Fortunately, he looked at Michigan. I just kind of really liked it. The first time I kind of looked around and kind of felt like the right place. And you know when you get that feeling and that's kind of the feeling I got. So uh, I think like two weeks before school started, I ended up applying here and getting in. So uh, that's kind of how I got here. It was, all, it was all pretty crazy summer to say the least. A crazy summer followed by an even crazier season. But Beneers excelled, leading the Wolverines in shot percentage and goals during the regular season, lighting the lamp 10 times. I didn't really put too much pressure on myself to do really well. I didn't really think about, like, obviously it's my draft season. I don't really think about that too much. It's just kind of like going out there and having fun. That's kind of something that's my dad's always saw me when I was growing up, and then now here I can try to like keep keep that going. Maddie talks about love of the game over expectations, and that approach has helped elevate his team as well. He's been a, a tremendous all-around player. Uh, we, we trust him as a coach to play in any situation. Uh, you know he's going to play on the right side of the puck, and then he's got the skill offensively to, to play on the offensive side. So uh, very fortunate to have him here, and he's a lot of fun to coach. In practice, he makes everyone a better player. Just you're going up against him, and you kind of like, okay, I'm going up against Maddie. I have to, <laughs> I have to be ready. But I feel bad for other guys in the Big Ten who have to play against him. And um, I think he's got everything. He's got the heart. He's got the attitude. He's got the work ethic. Ironically, despite his marksmanship this year, Benier says he's always been a pass-first kind of player. I kind of just like really focused in the last like couple months here working with the coaches on like shooting, getting a better shot, like my release and uh, even just being like uh, like knowing when to shoot and when to pass. Let me get this straight. The team's leading goal scorer needs work on his goal scoring mentality. Yeah, I know. I know. I think hopefully if I keep doing that, you know, results will show. But it's it's always nice when you are working really hard at something and then you get a little uh, success in that area. So hopefully I can keep that going along with everyone else who supports the Maize and Blue. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kingerski.